This is your daily devotion for Lily Friday, of course. For verse 6, to be like Jesus, work and study when you put both the earth and the wine. Deuteronomy 10, verse 14. Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heaven is the Lord thy God. The earth also with all that therein is. In itself, the beauty of nature leads the soul away from sin and worldly attraction and toward purity, peace, and good. For this reason, the cultivation of the soil is good work for children and youth. It brings them into direct contact with nature and nature's good. And that they may have this advantage, there should be, as far as possible, in connection with our schools, large flower gardens, and extensive land for cultivation. In the school that is started here in Australia, we look to see real success in agricultural lines, combined with the study of the sciences. We mean for this place to be a center from which shall radiate light, precious advanced knowledge that shall result in the working of unimproved land, so that hills and valleys shall blossom as they rose. For both children and adults, labor combined with mental taxation will give the right kind of all wrong education. The cultivation of the mind will bring tact and fresh incentive to the cultivation of the soul. The school has made an excellent beginning. The students are learning how to plant trees, strawberries, etc. How they must keep every tangle and fiber of the roots on plants in order to give them a chance to grow. Is not this a most precious lesson as to how to treat the human mind and the body as well? Not to cramp any of the organs of the body, but to give them ample room to do their work? We should work the soil cheerfully, hopefully, gratefully, believing that the earth will in its bosom rich stone for the faithful worker to garner, richer than gold or silver. With proper intelligent cultivation, the earth will yield its treasures for the benefit of humanity. The cultivation of our land requires the exercise of all the brain power and tact we possess. The lands around us testify to the indolence of human beings. We hope to arouse to action the dormant senses. We hope to see intelligent farmers who will be rewarded for their earth labor. The hand and heart must cooperate, bringing new and sensible plans into operation in the cultivation of the soil. Maranatha, Jesus is coming soon.